Hey there, everyone. This is Al Cow. Pentapon Sauce Bands. It might come as a surprise to be doing this now. But no, yeah, I think this is the right call. Like, I'm just always trying to look ahead, like, in one week. And in one week, Sonic is gonna be gone, and we're gonna start a new game there. That game isn't all that long. And also, Robot Game, like, isn't the longest game in the universe. And I feel like... Uh, there's a Mario game and a coming up next, but that's technically not part of the schedule. I'm going to say I'm not going to play that game until after Better Refined is done. Which means that honestly, within about a week, we there might be no more games waiting. I'm not sure. I might be overblowing it, but you know what? I don't particularly care. Let's just do it. Let's just do Let's just do an event. Let's just do one. I, I want to. I have time, it turns out. Things are just kind of lining up real nice. So you know what? We're doing it. Surprise event. Here we go. Here is a royal. I'm going to pick a royal. And someone's going to be the royal. What does it mean to be a royal? It means you get to put three games in front of my face. And then I have to choose one of them. That I'm going to play in the near future. Well, near... In a point in the future, possibly. It's pretty good. We're going to do that now. I'm going to press the button. Remember that this is opt-in. You have to opt-in, but once you're in, you're in. You don't have to re-opt every time. Every time I have to repeat all that, but I think it's important. Because for some people, it's going to be the first one of these they're going to see, you know? And you got to know what you know, what you're going to gonna know. Whoa! Long time viewer here! S.A. Jewers! You are one of the pillars of my viewership. Like, you've been there forever and a half. And fellow Canadian. My man, my fellow retro appreciator, my source for a lot of emulation knowledge. Although at this point, I just know the wiki. <laughs> but until then, friend, put three games before me. I am genuinely curious to know what it's going to be. I am genuinely, extremely excited to know what's going to happen. Like, for real, FR... Okay. Alright, now let's do the court thing. The list is now a little bit bigger. I have added everyone who has participated before. And now I will roll for the court member. Each of these members will present me one game. And I will pick one of these five to play at a future date. Uh, normally I pick five. So, okay, so play Madness last time was not able to give me their game in time. I'm not gonna go into details. I don't think this should, something I should write around in this uh, in this video. But you know, it was a legit reason to be late. Uh, it's fine. They gave me their game. Uh, so they were night number five last time. So they become night number five of this time. Like it starts with it ends with play madness, but I'm gonna now roll for one through four. I gotta do something quick first, though. All right, one, two, three, night number one. And a reminder, you know, that if for whatever is any reason that stage isn't is able to give me the thing in time, then you know, with it's fine. Like night number one's gonna take over, but SHO is a regular on the spot zone. Tangy, oh, oh. Today is a day of names I recognize. Tangy, a regular of the spot zone, and also, like, I just kind of am, you know, you like the Marios and things, so I'm curious what's gonna happen. Um, yeah, so I feel like <laughs> this is something to take into consideration. Right now I'm playing Better of Fight 6. There's a, like I said at the start of the video, there's a Mario game waiting. But I'm going to basically wait until Bitterified is done to play that. So basically what I'm saying is that I currently more or less have an actual A-side revival. So if anyone wants to give me a Mario, and, but you know, they don't know because they don't want things to be saturated with Mario. It's going to go after the Mario that's going to go after Bitterified. You can just continue the Mario A-side if you want. This is something funny that's kind of happening naturally. Like, I'm not gonna force an A-side revival, but if it happens, it happens. And that's funny. 
Things are rolling and the person will be picked. It's Coops! Coopsy be dooty doops. Coops has been added to the list. Here comes the third one. Here we go. We're spinning a wheel. The wheel be spinning. It looks like it's yellow and green. And music plays too. That is pretty sweet. It's too curt. No, this is the day of known people. What the hell? Man, yeah, Duker, the tag lord, been writing down the tags pretty much for as long as tags have become annoying to get on YouTube. This is a wild <laughs> selection. And, uh, right, so Tangy Coops, Duker, ah, uh, and Play Madness. Well, let's convert that ah uh, into a person, and here we go! What's going to happen today? A name will pop up and there's going to be like a sound or something weird. Or just a sound. Fuse! Lord Fuse! My, the old DM! <laughs> Alright, well, the list has been gathered. Uh, uh, it looks a little bit like this. That is wild to me. This is just, you know, sometimes people join in and they just kind of lurk and that's fine. And they give me names, and honestly, people I'm less aware of sometimes give me some of the most fascinating lists to choose from. And it's always kind of a joy. But here it's like, yeah, no, okay. All names I recognize. This is a, a gathering of people. <laughs> SHUers, get me five. Tangy, Coops, Duker, and Fuse, give me one each. Play Madness, I already have yours. So, uh, I know I'm not gonna have to run after you. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know what's gonna come from that, and I'm glad not to know. And we are done with this for now. And now comes the fun part. Well, another, the differently kind of fun part, the part of the poll. Here's the thing. I know what I want to put in my zone. In the R zone. The fourth slot of the season, of this batch. Um, I don't know what to do for a poll, because... Last time we already did a poll of my like my top five games I want. Spoilers, the game I'm going to be putting in my personal slot is my personal vote of the top five of last week. I don't want to just do a repeat poll. Like, that would be stupid. So you know what? You know what? You know what? Let's do it. Let's, ro let's roll for games. I present to you... The Holy Blessed Wheel. No advantages, no dungeons, just 646 games, and a few special tags just for fun. Well, that will, like, add up to 646. Like I said, though, it is pure numbers. Everything has one chance of getting picked, and I'm going to be rolling this, this thing five times... And we're going to see what happens. Give it a shuffle. Give it a click. Let's see what happens. I don't know what to expect other than tears and fright. Uh, it's the only way to live in a state of constant near panic. Uh, and it starts with Jesus. God. Car. Do I... I... <laughs> <laughs> Did I just stop here? <laughs> Alright. So, Mario Galaxy 2, starting with the showstopper. <laughs> Look, I played Mario Galaxy 1 earlier. Uh, I had a ton of fun. I thought it was a wonderful game. People's opinion of Mario Galaxy 2 varies a lot. However, it sounds from a lot of people's take is that I... It seems like I would side with the people who would prefer Mario Galaxy 2. So, hey, looking forward to it. I would be playing it through emulation. And I would be returning to my jank pseudo emulated control version that makes no sense and is just such a joy to mess around with so if that matters to you 
um, be aware that that's going to be a thing. Uh, I should probably check real quick, actually. Oh, yeah, yeah. So it puts it at playable, which is exactly how Galaxy 1 was. There's a Yoshi in this game? Weird. Um... So that's a thing. I don't know if that's going to be a thing. Yeah, this is something I'm going to have to... Okay, well, it looks like there's fixed problems. So, looks like I'm probably going to be fine. Looks like it's going to play okay. And, like, yeah, there's a few things that I need to switch around, but that looks to be fine. I mean, all right. Uh, if it wins, I'll do all that. That's... I'm perfectly fine with that. Uh, but, like, does... <sighs> I'll keep rolling, but like I said, it does feel like we just started with the end here. No, 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 we cannot lose hope. I am sometimes extremely surprised by what wins, man. You never know. Let, let's actually wait and see. See, Chameleon Twist! That's a cool game I've always wanted to play. Yeah, so Chameleon Twist is a game uh, on the, the Nintendo 64. It's like a cute little platformer where you got like a movable tongue or something. Like I know kind of little because, you know, obviously I want to play the game. So I kind of want to limit what I know. It does look super rad. And from what I understand, it's not a very long game at all either. So if people are just kind of looking forward to something a little bit shorter... Uh, that can and could and would be an answer. Um, no, I, I, I can despair. I, I Every game has, technically speaking, an equal chance. Kevin Atlas looks super cool. Like, it's an N64 game, though, so like I know it's not going to have a good trailer, which is why I'm not looking for one. But I will put like um, a long play or something, at the very least, so everyone can take a look at it, you know, and consider it. Please consider Chameleon Twist. I forgot by whom it is, so I can't say by something, because I felt like that's where my sentence was going. Like, I couldn't do that. Like, it wouldn't make sense. Boo do 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 Making sounds with my mouth. That's the kind of thing I do. Oh, that is very recent. So, Shinobi Dangrata is a very recent game, uh, released uh, May of this year, and I saw the trailer. Uh, the trailer was posted by S.A. Jewers, by the way, which is kind of funny. Uh, I think it looks super rad. Uh, very short trailer. Let's go with... Is there like a... Is there like a... Okay, that's a Steam trailer. We'll go with that. Like, I'm trying to look at the closest to what, you know, what would be the game. Like, look at that. I don't know. There's just something about it. This looks super rad. So, yeah, it's like fake NES, big bosses, and uh, that is honestly, like, super old arcade style. This looks super cool, right? Like, this looks like a super rad boss. Look at all these corpses everywhere. There's a translation and everything. Going on kites. That looks... Uh, this. I, every time I look at this trailer, of which you can only see a part because of my bad framing here. I can see, like, the lower part of the trailer, but... Ah! Oh, this appeals to me in so many ways. Like, my brain is tickled. Look at that cool fire! Look at Goku! <laughs> it says... It says Saiyan 3 Goku is kind of there. Big hair and everything. Pause your way! Oh, pave your way. With blood and smoke! This looks super cool rad! Like, there's no other words for it. I wanna- I wanna play- oh, this looks super rad cool. Shinobi Nanga. It's a funny name. Also, that- that's a bonus. It's a really funny name. This is the funny word name. Whoa, check it out, we're somewhere! Uh, I just clicked the wheel and now it spins. That's pretty wild, I never thought such a concept could happen! Okay. Yeah. There is a Super Mario World randomizer. I don't know what it randomizes. I don't know how that works. I don't really know what that means. But it exists. And um, I'm kind of curious to know what it is. And 
how it works and to give it a play and uh it's the first thing you can like we i would basically just put it on put it at max terrible and we would do one attempt well, you know, we would attempt to do one full run of the game whatever that may be whatever that may lead to pretty simple i think you know kind of speaks for itself i played smoo once in a while i'm not allowed to just play smoo anymore but if it's randomized, it doesn't count. It's something completely different. I never played a randomizer on the channel. That would be, I feel like, a way to start that makes sense. <laughs> okay. Just out of freaking nowhere. So, escape from the shadow of the canceled all the everything, which would have included all the Star Wars. Star Wars Shadow of the Empire for the N64. It's a classic N64 game, one of the earlier games on the console, I'm pretty sure, and still regarded one of the classics. I remember renting it, I remember enjoying it, I remember there being a super weird train level. I remember very little. I would love to experience it. I think it would be a blast. <laughs> Look... <laughs> I refuse to declare a vote decided ahead of time. Make sure to go vote and get your thoughts known, all right? By the way, if Mario Galaxy 2 vote, it's not a ROM hack or Smebex, so it would not go into the A side. It would be, it's, oh, it's on its own thing. I just think that's important to say. I think to me it's an important distinction. Yeah, ha, ha, ha. What smooth randomizer would be? SCG <laughs> Wars! Get your three games at me. Duker, Tangy, Coot, and. Uh, do I remember by heart? Do I remember by heart? Do I remember by heart? Shoot! Who am I forgetting? Fuse! Yeah! So, or Dr. Essler, as they're now known, uh, Duker, Coot, and Tangy, all get you, me, one game, and I will choose amongst five. And then there's gonna be one of these five games. And then there's gonna be a game of my choice. Or maybe two. Maybe that will tell you. And, uh, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah.